today I'm just going to collage and have a chat with you and see how that goes. I just wanted to talk about creative discouragement because I feel like I've been talking to a lot of people about that. Um, this moleskin is just a Kyer journal that I have that I'm going to be using. Um, I actually went to the thrift store and I got a ton of National Geographic magazines. I was kind of like thinking about how people don't really talk about being discouraged when it comes to creativity. We kind of talk about the highs of it and how excited we are to be making things that we have always dreamed about making or you know the idea that one day we could make something that we dreamed about making. And recently or last last year I was just kind of like I'm making stuff I've always wanted to make, but I still feel discouraged. And I think a lot of that had to deal with the fact that I was trying to figure out, do I continue doing YouTube? Do I stop doing YouTube? At what point does one just say, peace out YouTube, or does one ever stop? I've been doing YouTube since 2009, and although I haven't been consistent on YouTube. I have been on YouTube for a really, really long time. And I was just kind of thinking, how old will I be when I decide, hey, I'm going to do something else? Or will I ever stop making YouTube videos? Because I have so much fun making stuff, regardless of, you know, the people that are watching it or the people that aren't watching it. Do, do any of you guys feel that way where you feel like you're creating content you're really excited to share and you still kind of feel a little bit discouraged is that a, is that a thing is that just me maybe it's just me i doubt it and i think a lot of people think that they just wake up one day and they're creative and maybe maybe some people do wake up one day and they're creative but for me a lot of times i pray for creativity and i know that's not a prayer that a lot of people pray but it's one that i pray and it has been super helpful for me, super effective, and I highly recommend it if you are struggling creatively to like say a prayer and see, see what happens. You can kind of feel like you're creating things you're super proud of and proud in a sense of not super prideful, but proud as like, oh, I'm so excited that I was able to make that, and then you can still feel down about it, which is weird. So, so weird. Last year, I got to create Acknowledging Artistry, and that was something I, I worked on for a really long time. I started kind of concepting it in 2013, but I was too scared to make it. We'll talk about fear another day. Uh, I was too scared to make it until 2016, and then I started posting them in 2017. And I still have two more that I want to upload, uh, one that I actually need to film and then one that I've already filmed, I just need to edit. What is this? This is like, this doesn't really fit, but that's okay. I like this picture. It was the first time I created something that was kind of the style that I've always wanted to make something. Sometimes we envision what our work should look like, and when it's not that, oh man, our work's awful, but it's that whole like era glass, the gap thing, which I'll link below. You know, you do make content and videos and um, paintings, scripts, books that are just like not that great. And then maybe one day you will make something that is actually pretty great. And I, I don't know if I'm at that stage where I'm like, wow, this is awesome. But I, I'm definitely growing and that's kind of cool. You know what's weird is that this random lady is in my house, like in the form of a picture, and she has no idea. I wish I could just like get coffee with every person that ever watches one of my videos and just ask them, how in the world did you end up on this channel? What made you stay, you know? I feel like that would be a, an interesting chat. Um, also, this isn't sponsored by Vitamins. Like, I realized that was flipped over for a while. Sorry. It's okay to be momentarily discouraged, but don't let that discouragement hold you back from doing whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. That's kind of cool. It's from 1976. Wow.
I remember in high school I was so discouraged and I just like stopped making stuff. And when I make something, whatever discouragement that was originally there has to go away because I don't know how you deal with things, but for me, I've always just made stuff, whether I'm super excited and in a really good mood or in, if I'm not in a good mood at all, I've been like, I'm gonna make something. Hey, there's South America. Making something's gonna make me feel so much better than not making it. But in high school, I didn't realize that. So I would just like stop making stuff to deal with my problems. And the reality is when I was making stuff, I was in a better state than when I was not making things. Um, so if you're out there and you're watching this and I'm just supposed to tell you to keep making stuff, keep making stuff. <laughs> uh, even if you don't feel like you should, just, just do it. Nike, they would tell us to just do it. Or Shia LaBeouf, who could be our friend, would tell us to just do it. And he would scream it. And we would probably do it. <laughs> you know what my favorite way to capture somebody is reading a book. I just think it's one of the most beautiful pictures I could ever take in my entire life is a person reading a book. And I just saw a guy reading a book, but where did he go? Yeah, like this, this guy. He's, he's literally just reading a book and enjoying his life. We've got some sheep because I don't know about you, but I feel very sheep-like every once in a while. I'm trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing, like what I want to do with it and really be very specific as to why I want to create it and to whom I'm hoping to reach. I think YouTube will be even more enjoyable um, for me personally. That was a horrible hold. See, this is why I didn't go to art school. I should talk about that in a video. <laughs> this is why I didn't go to art school. I need help folding paper. I like how that looks. It like it doesn't fit at all, but I kind of like it. I wish it were longer. Hmm. Or I could put a little plug for a club that I'm in that doubles as a nonprofit, and it's called Breaking the Shackles. And I think I'm going to put that. So basically, Breaking the Shackles is this um, student organization slash nonprofit that helps women who have been trafficked. I guess women and men. Um, I think women are like the primary focus. I will link um, Breaking the Shackles Instagram. And in the description if you're interested in checking it out. How this went from creative discouragement to people who are trafficked, I don't know, but maybe someone needed to be reminded that that's a thing. And if you know anyone who has been trafficked, or if you yourself are being trafficked, please get the help that you need. Um, because there are people who want to help you. And please be the person that informs authority of anything that's odd that's happening in your area or maybe even not in your area. So this is what I got. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. And this is only the first of hopefully many creativity chats. So. <laughs>